everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I am trying to solve a problem. I've got this nice pot that keeps getting its drainage holes clogged. I don't understand why, I don't understand how, I've lost everything that I've planted in here. Because as you can see, it literally has standing water, despite having drainage holes in the bottom and then drilling more drainage holes. So there's something about this pot that doesn't want to drain. And why fight it when you can grow something that likes to be in a pot with no drainage, AKA rice. Now today is August 1st. In theory, it's way too late to be planting rice. Now rice is a 90 day from seed to flower. We have more than 90 days between now and when we have our, our first frost here in central North Carolina, but it's more of a day length decreasing issue but I've never sown rice at this season, so I figure I have nothing to lose and only a great experiment to be able to follow. So I'm gonna go ahead and seed the rice in here, but first I wanna show you a rice plant that was planted at a more logical time and how absolutely spectacular it is. This is the black mudras, and as you can see, it's already starting to go to seed and it's actually flowering right now, which is what those little white filaments are. And, you know, I'll be harvesting this realistically, maybe even like after Labor Day. So we'll see how August 1st rice being seeded does because, well, I really have no idea. So might as well make it a YouTube video for everybody to follow along. Well, as you can see, it's raining, which is great. And we have some cooler temperatures for the next couple of days, which is also super great. And I am just gonna kind of get this soil and all the old labels out, uh, flattened out. It's full of earthworms. It's crazy. Uh, I just don't feel like they necessarily want to live in a pot with no drainage, but maybe they do. Move a couple. All right, and now it's a pretty anticlimactic process. I am literally gonna just scatter all the seeds in this pack in and then agitate it and keep my fingers crossed that we don't get so much water that all of the seeds end up floating out, which is something that can happen. This pot's way too heavy and I'm not gonna move it. So this might be doomed from the start, but at least I'm trying something. I do hope you'll subscribe and plan to tune in as I make more updates from this August 1st rice seeding. As always, thanks so much for watching. Happy gardening.